Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today I type sharing this idea on upcycling this mirror, like the standard one, to this. So it's pretty simple. I just wanted to go for something real fun. If you have a mirror that you want to just do something with, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just going to be working over a piece of plastic. And then my mirror happens to have this kind of bit that hold the mirror. So I'm just going to open those things and I'm just going to take the mirror so I can work with the frame itself. Now as you can see my mirror looks kind of dirty because I did do something else first with it like paint and stuff like that but I ended up not liking how it looked so I just removed all the paint and start all over again so hence my mirror looking like this and then I'm just going to paint with black acrylic paint all over it and I'm just using a regular brush then I'm just going to be taking my gold uh, an antique gold kind of acrylic paint is water based and um, my paint was kind of it's kind of drying at this point it's really old but I just wanted to work with it and I'm just taking some stuffing and I'm just going to smear the paint all over my frame. It doesn't have to be in any particular order when you feel like you need to add something in there. This is going to help with the antique or vintage looking part of this mirror or this idea. So just, um, you know, work until you or just smear until you um, are happy with how it looks. I did a lot of smearing in the kind of corners and here and there and pretty much all over the place. And then I'm just going to take one of this um, round sponges. I got this at Home Depot, I think, but they sell them pretty much at any craft store. And I'm just going to take uh, my white acrylic paint and I'm just going to, well, kind of mark the circles with my sponge. If you want to like paint the circles like to be exact, go ahead and do it. I didn't want to go for like the perfect circle. I just wanted my circle to be, you know, there but not really defined. And um, I'm just going to go and apply white dots pretty much all over the place. I'm doing a kind of a, like a polka dot pattern but not really because my sponge is quite big. So it's kind of like polka dot-ish but not super exactly like a bucket that pattern would be. And some of them are gonna be like half circles and that's because my sponge is pretty big. Uh, at this point I thought of adding something else because I thought it was like too white in contrast with my you know background. So I thought of adding more of my gold and just adding some spots or just uh, polka dots all over the place. And yeah, I just kept on doing the same thing here and there and wherever I felt like it needed something more. Well, for some reason this reminds me of one of those stage frames that they have like huge, you know, um, lighting. Super fun to look at. And then I went ahead and applied my satin finish to it to just have like a kind of protection. And I went for satin because again I'm just going to for the vintage looking to it. And this is how the whole thing looks like. This is how the frame itself looks like. You can use this idea for mirrors, for like photos. This is just basically a frame and you can do whatever you want with you know, a frame, you can use a photo, you can use an inspirational phrase like on top of your desk. Then the mirror part goes in, securing the whole thing as I did to take it out. And then that goes to the wall. And yeah, I just want to share this idea. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I hope you found it helpful, you liked it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.